Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As many of you as many of you know, I've been battling a herniated disc in my back for several weeks now. And as part of my active recovery, I'm implementing some safe and soothing yoga moves. And of course, I wanted to have a little session um, on the mat to share with share this experience with my sisters and of course you. I know that a lot of us at home we suffer from back issues and we don't know what to do. And a lot of us don't want to deal with surgery. I'm one of them. So here are some. Um, I'm going to take us through a series of back stretches that can prevent you from further injury and surgery. Mm. Very, very easy. So let's get started. The first pose is, a, is called wind removing pose. It's from the Bikram series, but anybody can do it at home. So ladies, let's turn where our legs are this way and we're laying on our backs. It's very, very simple. So go back. Now I want you to bring your right knee in, clasp your fingers together, all together and just pull. Keep your left knee soft and just pull. Keep both shoulders on the ground. Relax your shoulders and just pull. The goal is to try to get your knee as close to your right shoulder as possible. And of course, you always wanna breathe through every stretch. You don't wanna overstretch. You just breathe, you just pull to the point of tension. Most, most stretches you can hold for about 30 seconds and then release. So let's release, ladies, and get the other knee. And just move slowly through every one and just pull. Try to keep both shoulders on the ground. You know, we clasp our fingers and we grab our shin. You don't wanna grab your knee, grab your shin so you can get a deeper stretch. You don't wanna see your foot in the middle of your stomach. Just relax your foot and pull and breathe. And you feel the stretch in your lower back. Do you guys feel the stretch in your lower back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just pull and breathe. This is also a good stretch for your digestive system as well. and breathe. Now what does it do for the digestive system? You know, it, it, it allows the digestive system to, to, to get going. A lot of times people are constipated and sometimes it kind of presses on the digestive system to get it going. So release. All right, now let's come on all fours. Come up slowly, everything's slow. Everything is slow in yoga. Come on your knees. All fours. And we've done this one before. This is called the pigeon pose. So you want to bring your left knee forward. Now bring your left heel forward where your left knee is facing out. And just relax that right leg back. And here is good. You could come down to your forearms if you want. But you want to make sure that your spine is straight. Don't round your spine. Just keep your spine straight and just breathe. Just breathe, and if you want, you can go all the way down. It's just really about your comfort zone. Yoga and stretching is not a contest, so you don't want to try to, if you see somebody in your class stretching, and they stretching all the way down to the ground, <laughs> let them do their thing. And release, ladies, come back up to all fours. And then just bring the right leg forward, right knee forward, right heel forward your knee out to the side. You want your right heel to be in alignment with your left hip. That's the goal. And just stretch forward and breathe. You go as low as you can. Sometimes, a lot of times, mostly, one, one side of your body right. is better than the other. Mm -hmm. Like one side is down to the tin man, and then the <laughs> other side is like stretchy stretch. But that's okay, that's pretty much, pretty much most of America. So you're not alone and everything is breathing, holding each stretch for 60 seconds. You wanna to try to press your hips into the floor. See, because open hips is health. You know, a lot of people later on in their life, when they get really mm -hmm. old, um, they have like injuries in their hips and it's very, very dangerous. Like sometimes it leads to death. Not to be dark, <laughs> but it's true. Okay, come back to your all fours, to all fours rather. Now this one is called the bird dog pose. Now. When you have a bad back, what you want to try to do is strengthen the muscles in the back so that your back is strong enough to withstand um, any type of um, workouts or movements that you're doing. So bird dog is opposite arm, opposite leg. So take the right arm out, left leg back. And it's almost like a plank, but it's a stretch. And again, Keep your back straight, keep your spine straight. And if this is hard, just bring your, your, your toe down to the floor and touch. And switch. 
And just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. And this is just, this is good for your stomach, your core. You could do this at any time. And last but not least, ladies, come on your bums. Stay on your back. Feet flat on the floor. We're gonna do half bridge. This is also good for your, uh, your hips and it's gonna give you a good tight buttocks. Mm. So, just lift your hips up, feet flat on the floor, shoulder width apart, lift your hips up and just squeeze. And just squeeze and breathe. This is a good stretch on your back. And if it gets to be too much, you can release. And then just squeeze again. And release. And come back up. I hope you ladies are feeling more relaxed. We've got one more pose to show when we return. So just stay with us. We're back with Sister Circle Live. Before the break, I was talking about uh, going through one more pose. Mm -hmm. Well, now I want to do two more poses. This one is <laughs> real important. So everybody get on your all fours. This one, pretty much everybody knows how to do this one. It's called the cat pose. So basically, since we saw that cat trailer, okay, <laughs> we just go arch up like a cat, very slowly. You want to keep your head straight so you can keep your neck in alignment. Oh, okay. And then release. And don't go all the way down, just go straight to tabletop. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you arch your back too much, that can compress your, your, um, your, your spine and actually make it worse. So up again and slowly release. One more time, up again. Also good for your glutes and your thighs, and slowly release the quadriceps. Now last but not least, ladies, our most favorite one, Savasana. But Savasana for people with bad backs. So get on your back, legs facing this way. Now, Savasana, Savasana is dead body posture. That's what Savasana means. But in this instance, we're gonna slightly bend our knees because when you bend your knees, you automatically take the pressure off of your lower back, the L4, F, L5, and S1 bone, which is normally where a herniated disc starts. And your arms are flat, your palms are facing down, your chin is facing, you're looking towards your chest, complete stillness, complete relaxation. Your arms are inside your mat, they say, or you know, in yoga we say arms inside of your coffin and you just breathe. This is also a good posture if you have anxiety, if you're stressed, you could just take five minutes and just do this and come back and get back centered. And that's it, ladies. Mm. They should call this the nap pose. Hello, somebody. <laughs> this is called, this pose is called, it's over. <laughs> it's over. The I love end. That. Yes. Breathing is so important. You know what, Savasana is probably one of the hardest postures in my class because people can't sit still. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how many people fidget, wipe. When I first started doing it, I would wipe and fidget the whole time. Like I'm just doing, so I'm like, do I get See up what I'm to say it? Do, do I, I get up to say who's coming Monday? Well, you do gotta end the show. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you do gotta get up. Happy Friendly Friday. Monday, Latoya Luckett will be on the show, as well as Beverly Smith, Yay. the national president of Delta Sigma Theta. So Yay. have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Selena. You are amazing. Namaste. As per usual. Now back to Savasana. Savasana. Now you can go all the way down to Savasa. Yes, Legs I flat, straight, that. dead body posture, heels yes. touching, feet are open, palms are Can we are end with a up. namaste, Selena? Namaste. 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 Bye! <laughs>